welcome to the fourth edition of Cooking on a Boat with Kirsten. Tonight we're doing fried rice, which I know is your favorite. And um, we are, tonight's show is brought to you from Clark Island, Broken Group, Barkley Sound, West Coast, Vancouver Island. Okay, so I already cut everything up. I got everything ready. I had to cook rice this morning because you need cold rice. And so um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go for it. So first, you start with a bunch of garlic. And you put the garlic in your uh, frying device with oil, and you fry it until it's kind of brown, like. It'll brown pretty quick. And then you're gonna add, see it's starting to brown up. It's kind of brown and like sticky. Then you're gonna add, this is the vegetarian version. I'm actually gonna add prawns to the next one because I have to do it in two batches because I'm on a boat and I don't have that big of dishes, or I mean pots. And so now we push all of that garlic to the side and then we add our also delicious eggs. And you let them fry. I'm gonna go with three tonight since I have a protein other than eggs. With you, I probably add six if you're doing it vegetarian, so you have extra protein. And so you kind of scramble them up a little bit, and then you let them thicken up. When they're still wet, you know what? I'm not gonna add my veggies because I've been adding my veggies at this time because that's what the recipe said, but the veggies end up disgusting. So we're not gonna add veggies, but we're just gonna do that. You can see those are pretty much solid now. And then I'm gonna try to, no, oil's not coming out. So I'm just gonna add more oil because I'm about to run, add my rice. And I'm gonna add four, yikes, that was probably too much oil. Four cups of the already cooked rice. And this is jasmine rice, which is a Thai rice because we're making Thai fried rice. So you add your rice to that hot oil. And, oh, this is kind of clumpy. I should have unclumped it a little bit. Is that three? That was three cups, right? You kind of have to unclump it. Otherwise, you end up with like rice mush, and that's kind of, well, gross. Okay. And numero four. I'm going to break it all up. And then I'll stir it around and try to evenly coat it with the oil. And then I will stir in the eggs after I get the sort of covered with oil. Blah. Okay, you can cut. All right, so I have the rice mostly covered with oil at this point. You can see it's kind of a different color. And then I just fold those eggs and garlic back in with it. So you're going to wait a couple minutes and let this start to like brown and get a little bit fragrant. I should have gotten more clumps out of this, but oh well. So we'll let this brown for like maybe two or three-ish minutes. And then we're gonna add the stuff that makes it delicious. Okay, so this has been going like a couple minutes and so now it's time to add sugar, which makes sense, right? So like three teaspoons of sugar. And I'm gonna add my carrots at this point. Um, Oops. So, and then my carrots, because they take longer to cook than broccoli. If you add the broccoli right now, I know from experience, it turns to mush, and that's really, 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 really gross. And nobody likes really, really squishy broccoli, because it is just plain disgusting. And then you also add, this is a mixture of um, fish sauce and oyster sauce, which also sounds gross, but it's not. It's actually tasty, as you know, because you've eaten this. And I know you're, I already emailed you this recipe, so you can just follow the recipe, but maybe this will help you in your execution of one of your favorite meals. 
So, just mix that around until everything seems like sort of evenly coated. And then you just let it cook. You try to like let it brown and not mess with it too much. So I'm going to move to the not messing with it too much stage. I'm gonna let this cook for a couple minutes. It should start to brown and then I'll turn it. I'll let you show, I'll show you what it looks like when it's starting to brown. Okay. All right, so this has been going a couple minutes. I've tried not to mess with it too much and it is starting to brown on this side. So I kind of flip it over. I'm gonna to try to get it browned just about everywhere. So we get that nice like delicious crunchiness. And then I have some broccoli I'm gonna add, but I'm not gonna add that until it's gonna to try to trick me and it's gonna to try to tempt me into putting it in too soon so it turns to disgusting mush. But I won't do it. I'm going to resist until the last couple minutes. All right. And now after this is stirred, if it looks like it's pretty stirred, I am going to let it sit for a couple more minutes and let that part brown. And I'll show you in a minute. All right. So I have stirred this a couple times. It's starting to brown up. You can see, like, as I flip this, you can see, like, there's going to be, like, crunchy brown rice on the bottom. See the crunchy brown rice? That's what you want. You want to be patient and let that, like, form. So the other thing I should note here is that this pot, I would not choose a pot like this normally to make this in. I would make it in a big, wide frying pan because it allows the steam to escape. It makes the crisping easier. Gives you more surface area for your rice to crisp. I'm just using it because I only have one frying pan. I'm using the frying pan for the prawn version of this. So, um, I think it's time to add the broccoli. I'm hoping I'm not wrong and they won't turn out like mush. We want them to be like kind of still like crispy and not disgusting. So, oh yeah, because things are really starting to brown up here finally. See that? Give them delicious brown right there. That's what you want. So, I think maybe my broccoli might be a success this time. So I'm gonna let this go just a couple more minutes. I'm thinking maybe three-ish more minutes. You want the the broccoli to be like bright green and just like a little bit tender. You don't want it to be like mush tender. You want it just to be beautiful, not mush. So I'm gonna leave this alone, let it brown up. All right, so I'm thinking that this is done. We've got really, it's getting nice and crunchy. You don't want it like super crunchy all over, just crunchy bits. And the broccoli is looking pretty good. It looks and tastes like fried rice at this point. So I am gonna call it good. And now I get to show you where we are. This is the windy day edition. We had the sunny day edition. We had the rainy day edition. And now I get to show you the windy day edition. Ah, there's an extra drop for it. And the sun is really nice. You gotta come up and see this because it's pretty awesome. We are at Clark's Island, Park and Crew, Barkley Sound, West Coast, Vancouver Island. And over there where those 